hello I am outside again because I thought you know what let's suck up some fresh air and leave the house because it was a beautiful day I didn't realize just how hot it is so I'm sitting in the shade because I can't cope with the heat oh Gary C my antidepressants I've been taking them since 2009 and it always makes me wonder the friendships I've made on YouTube since 2009, do people really know who I am? Because I've always been on the pills and I remember saying this to a therapist once and they said to me, oh, you're giving too much power to the medication, you're still you. And as my medication got increased recently because I'm going through a bad time, I can't help but think the further it goes up, how far do I go? How further do I get from who I am? And I know that as time goes on, we all change, we all evolve, but my anxiety, my depression, they've become such big parts of my life. Even when I've been told by therapists in the past, like try not to let them be such big parts of your life, but that's almost impossible because they're a huge part of me. They dictate a lot of my actions and my reactions. Some people may say, oh, these are all excuses. These are all just reasons why you're not living. You're not like being, but it is very hard. And for people out there that suffer with mental illness like I do, it's like, I can't like, it's funny to say that I even looked off when I said with mental illness like I do, that I couldn't even look at the camera when I said it. How much am I my medication? And I always remember something that happened when I went to see Lady Gaga years ago, years and years ago, and I was on my medication then. And everybody else I was with was absolutely loving it, absolutely loving her, crazy, I just knocked my water over. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And it was great, best, one of the best shows I've ever seen. And I've seen some divas and she was incredible. But I found it very difficult to emote, very difficult to become like extra and wow. And that's not my personality. I'm, I would be with the rest of them, like living my life and getting snatched. But I knew then that it had made some sort of difference to my personality. And people have said to me, who've known me for years, like, you are a bit more subdued. <laughs> Which is their way of saying, you boring now, girl. <laughs> you boring. <laughs> no, they're not, not boring. Maybe I'm being too hard on myself. Um, which is, you know, classic. <laughs> classic garrison. I often worry that, would my friends still like me? Would my friends still like the person I am without them? Because, as I said at the beginning, loads of people who know me through YouTube have only ever known me when I've been on medication. They've never known me before. And it's a really weird thing. Like how much, to what extent does it, does it change who you are? Are you fundamentally the same person you are? And um, I can hear my cold coming through now. Um, hey, thanks. Just some thoughts about medication and its effect and its influence. It may not ring true to a lot of people, but this is just my little testimony about something that runs through my head on and off. And I just wanted to put it down on camera and put it out there and see what other people's experiences are. And if they worry that they're becoming a pill popper or they worry that, you know, it's taking you beyond, was that a leaf that just hit me? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's taking you beyond where you want to go. But if you've got a good GP, a good doctor, you can always discuss coming up and down on tablets or changing your tablet. There's no point in just going it alone and using the internet as a guide because one person's experience on a tablet is very different to another person's experience. We all react very differently. Keep in contact with your medical professional. Find out the side effects and things like that. Are you sure? <laughs> um, and on that note, <laughs> thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Mwah.